Hi everyone, this is just a short video introduction for my webinar this weekend, Saturday the 14th of April for the Astrology University on the nodal axis of the Moon. Challenging perceptions, exploring new directions. In this webinar we'll really be looking at how do the nodes of the Moon work for people and actually we'll be exploring common questions that unravel people in many ways. I've had individuals work with me for readings who are extraordinarily upset at times, or people that have asked me, you know, I have south node in Libra or south node in the seventh house, north node in the first, north node in Aries. Am I not meant to have a relationship this time around? Am I meant to be on my own? And they're genuinely upset, and there's pain in their voice when they ask these questions. And I see these questions as arising out of a false understanding of the nodes in many ways, that they're perceived as two separate things. One thing, the south node, one thing, the North Node, and that somehow you get over your South Node and get to your North Node. And yet these two nodes were only formed together by the arc or momentum of the Moon's passage across the ecliptic. So in a sense they're meant to operate together. So I've put together a series of maps of how to blend the archetypes so we can understand what it is to combine Libra and Aries, or the seventh and the first house, in a kind of mutual dance of meaning, rather than just separating one as the past and the other as the future. So instead we might see a meaningful flow or harmonic correspondence between the past and the future. This will be illustrated by a number of celebrity charts, if you like, the chart of Charlie Sheen and Karen Carpenter on this relationship front. But it will also look into the charts of many ordinary people I've worked with whose lives have been transformed by understanding their chart and processing it in a certain way. We will have chance in this webinar to address the idea really of a kind of overly simplistic astrology and how it can damage people. And I'll look in particular at the charts of a couple of individuals who felt at points that an overly simplistic analysis of their chart was quite detrimental to their life. And it's a chance for us to clear that up and see together how a more nuanced understanding of the nodes might help us work on ourselves and with our clients whose charts we look at. So I'm very much hoping you can join me this weekend, Saturday the 14th of April for the Astrology University. If you're not able to attend live, the Astrology University do a fantastic job in recording the programs and releasing them to people afterwards. Hope to see you this weekend. All the best.